everyone. Um, this is going to be my first video. Hopefully it's going to be quite short. I'm not too sure, but hopefully I want to just take you through all the new updates for the new iOS 4. Just released today. Well, it was 6.05 for here in the UK. So it's available available for all iPods, uh, iPod Touches and iPhones. So as you can see here, just swipe that. And now you can see... Uh, the carrier settings. Now you can see that there's a wallpaper behind now instead of the uh, bland old black background. Uh, you can change this by going into settings and then going into wallpaper and then you click on the application wallpaper there and then you select your wallpaper there. As you can see you click on any wallpaper and you get new wallpapers too and you can set that wallpaper or that one, probably set that one and then it says they're set to lock screen or home screen or set to both I'm going to set it to my home screen so save photo, done and now you can see got this new background there um, another um, feature or new update is that it has um, portrait oriented portrait orientation lock, uh, if I can say that um, basically what that is is that it locks your iPhone in the portrait mode it is, so if I show you there if I swipe that across, as you saw me do there swipe that across, it has this button here called portrait orientation lock um, got it there, and once you click it, it shows the lock button right there and that means that the iPhone will no longer rotate in any other position so if I demonstrate that to you now if I open this uh, and, I, and then I turn it to the side it's not rotating because of the icon it has at the top there um, you can see that there's a lock symbol right there, and that means that it's locked. Um, furthermore, one of the probably the biggest updates is multitasking, and already you can see that there are three apps open at the moment, and that's just easily able to be deleted. So if you can see here, click them. If you hold on to them, click the minus button. Uh, see, as I saw, you I open settings and Safari, and single click to take it away. See so if I demonstrate that again, double tap to bring up all the options of all the apps that are currently running. So I'll just run settings, exit from that, and if I run uh, iPod, exit from that. And now if I double click, you can see there are settings on iPods right there. And then to get rid of them, just click the minus, minus there, and you're all done. So I've already gone through the portrait orientation lock, uh, wallpapers, uh, and that you can do multitasking which is probably the biggest feature also another feature is that you can now search on the web so before you could search the apps that were available on your iPhone such as Angry Birds which is a huge app at the moment as you saw there, Angry Birds but now you can also see that it says search web or search Wikipedia so if I search web it could search for me Angry Birds on the internet as you see there uh, so another thing is that aesthetically looking at it, you can see that the dock has been redesigned to have more of the iPad style dock, as you can see right there. It's more on a glass surface, just like the Mac is um, on my iMac, which is just behind there. And also, if you go into the App Store and you click on a paid app, it doesn't work for free apps, but at least I don't think it does, but if you go and pay that when you get all the way to the bottom it has this option for gift this app and that allows you to pay yourself for the application and then you can send this um, to like a friend or someone if you wanted to as maybe a present also if I go to the mail and hopefully no details will come up I really should be planning for this um, you can see here it has unified inboxes so it has all inboxes, my mobile me account, my gmail and then it has accounts here, mobile me, gmail which is pretty nifty and if I go back now, um, you may also be able to see that some of the icons have changed, such as the calculator app. Um, and now one of probably the biggest features is that folders, well, it's not the biggest feature, but it's one of the big features there, um, well, at least Apple are portraying. If you hold on an app, so it starts wiggly jiggling, and you drag it over an app, you see there, it goes into a folder. And the really cool thing about this is that it actually creates a name for the folder depending on the apps that you have chosen so if I put that out and if I put um, let's say this app into that app oops kinda of failed there you see that it's changed now to lifestyle whereas before 
um, for the other app with Twitter, it was um, social. And the apps, um, the names for the folders can be up to 13 characters long, which is a great feature to have so that you can name them wherever you want to. I mean, 13 characters is quite a lot. And that's really all there is, really, about the new update. Um, obviously, the multitasking is probably the biggest thing that is being highlighted. And But there is one last thing. Um, it's the iPod. Uh, if you go into that application, uh, go back. Uh, um, what you can do now is normally you could listen to your playlist or whatever playlist you had, whereas now you can add a playlist yourself. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong button. Uh, now you can add a playlist yourself um, on the actual iPhone or iPod Touch yourself. So if I call it, uh, let's say demo, I know, really inventive, um, save. And then you can just add any songs that you want to, whichever ones you want. And then just by clicking um, the plus button. So if I just find a song uh, like Billie Jean by Michael Jackson, you can add that and then click done. And now you see here, Billie Jean, and then you can edit it by deleting it. You could rearrange it, so move the position of it. And then you can just clear all of the uh, songs or just delete the whole playlist. Um, so that's basically all there is really. Um, if there is anything that I forgot to mention, of um, course, just please just leave a comment down below there. Um, this is probably this is my first video. I'm not really that um, experienced with this stuff, but I'm telling you now, uh, I will have the new iPhone 4 uh, on launch day, so I will have an unboxing of that. And um, be sure to subscribe if you want to see the unboxing of that. Um, so this is just like a a quick little intro into like my videos I will do obviously all Apple related or mostly and unboxings and so on and so forth. Uh, if you like this video please leave a comment below uh, just tell me how I can improve maybe I should have a different camera angle from somewhere else up high down below whatever. Um, thanks for watching guys and be sure to subscribe. Bye.